Let's see my father's murderer. Who are you? Who are you? I'm innocent. There are no innocent men. The primordial sin weighs on us all. <laughs> That's quite a thing to say. Give me a break. Shrike, the militia boss, dragged me in here. He's had it out for me for the past three years. Yes, I broke into the Kind's place. So? They don't need worldly things. The heavens sustain them. Why should I be treated like a murderer? The Kinds? What do they have to do with this? Well, Simon Kine was old Barra's pal. That night, I saw them parting near the Crucible, a few minutes past midnight. Your father told him, I have three hours left, and you'll probably hold out for a bit longer. He must have known what fate awaited him. He knew who was going to murder him? True, it doesn't sound like they were talking about murder, more like... Both of them decided to die. Or maybe... I don't know. Maybe there was a there was poison in their blood and they only had a little time left to live. Poison? Look, this whole mess is none of my business. But your father knew that he had three hours left to live. I ended up talking about it once I'd had too much to drink. Embellished a few things and that's when Shrike took me in. Both of them were gone on that night. Both your father and Simon Kine. So who killed them? The hell if I know, but it sure wasn't me. I was just passing by and overheard them talking, right? They sounded like they'd planned it all from the start. Get it? I do. That man is not a murderer. Curiously, his evidence suggests Simon Kine knew that father was doomed beforehand. Let's give prophylaxis to Katarina Kina. And they should be fine. So that's all three people here treated. So the only person I have to treat, definitely, before nightfall is Han. I want to cure them because they're infected. What's Murky doing out here? The plague bringer is here, walking around. I had a fight with Sticky, all because of your father again. I'm so worried now. What if we never make up? What did you fight about? Sticky says that your father is good, that he was smart and kind to people, but I know that's not true. Why isn't it? Because. Everything's bad because of your dad. He always made everyone sad. I know why you feel this way, Murky. I do. He didn't want to do it, Murky. Yes, he did. Why do you think so? If it weren't for him, we'd be living like we used to and nothing would be bad. How do you know that? I know because I feel that way. Well, I guess there's no convincing you otherwise. I hope I can make up with Sticky. I don't hate having a brother at all. He grumbles a lot, but he's really nice. He makes food for me. Yesterday he brought me sugar. He put it over a candle and made a piece of candy. You'll make up, I'm sure of it. And actually, while I'm here, is this a place I need to visit? Nope, I've already visited there. But I do have a mark on my map for what I assume is a cache here. Ah. Do I have a beetle? No, I don't have anything. It's exactly the same to put in there. But here is a uh, peanuts. So that I can mark off my map as something I've been to. Hearing the piano from this food store, uh, this is where we find Vlad. Wondering whether to keep this place a food store or renovate it or whatever. Oh. Losses. Everywhere. We're ruined. Ruined. Ruined.
The whole enterprise brought to naught. Ah, Bura. You don't have a wife yet, of course, do you? Not yet. Neither do I. Not anymore. Victoria Ogumskaya died a while ago. Yes. How did she die, Bo's fled? They used to sell knickknacks and mementos here long ago. That's where I met her. She was buying a brooch. We married the same year. It was fall, too. I returned here much later. How long was it? Eight years? They began selling meat. My meat, of course. Brooches. Who needs brooches? So it was your shop? Everything is mine here. Doesn't look like it, otherwise you wouldn't be here. What should I do, Bura? Should I repair the shop, or leave it like this? As a memento. I think I said let it stay the way it is now before, last playthrough, so this time I'm going to say, repair it. Let them sell meat. It's profitable for everyone. Oh, and if I remember right, there's a little bit that I can loot here. Yeah. I think just to, I think just that actually. Was there anything else? Nah, it's just that to loot. Let's get our reward. 4,000 and a whole bunch of food. Heck yeah. My hunger isn't very high. Mm, that's milk. I, th yeah, I think it'd be wasted if I took that. But I can definitely eat the toast. And the egg as well. And I still have smoked fish, canned food, and milk left over. And I have 11,000 coin. My god, I feel rich. Hey, I want to go check on that person down in the jail cell. Did they manage to get them out? Wait, you're not that person. Hey? I'm sorry, are you arrested, but yet you can just walk out of the jail cell? It wasn't even locked. Alright, well, uh, you're free to go. Bye. And I don't see the other person, which means I guess they were released. They looked like they were dying, though, so... I don't know how much good that is. Hi, Clara. I won't touch you, so don't touch me. So... Have you seen my parents? How are they doing? Sabrov is in trouble. People are unhappy with him. Because of you. What? People harass them. Because of me? Oh, but what do they want? Why can't they just leave me alone? They think you're a carrier. Is it true? Oh my god, sweet god in heavens, obviously, seriously, definitely, clearly, I'm not. People believe that there's an urchin girl that the disease doesn't take for some reason. Do you know of many other suspects? Uh, a ton? There are lots of urchin girls around, especially these days. But no matter how many there are, those rumors are utter drivel. Sandpest kills everyone it touches. There's no salvation. Unless I help. You're not the only salvation. Fools, utter fools. They all think I'm connected to the plague because... Because... I don't know why. It's because I'm always first wherever calamity strikes. But that's because I rush to help. You're scaring me, Clara. And not just me. I'm a good person, Burah. You can tell lies from truth, don't you? Then you know I'm not lying. I'm a good person. And if anyone tells you I'm a shapeshifter, those are just rumors. Shapeshifters don't exist. Yeah, no, I, I don't know if you're a shapeshifter or what, but there's definitely more than one of you. All kinds of things exist. I'm in this district here around the theater. I'm gonna go do my rounds for the day, but there's a bad dude. Let's see how sneaky I can be, considering it's full daylight. Come 
Hell yeah. Lockpick is in great condition. Really, I want a lockpick to either be in max condition or basically dead condition. Because it's either an insta-kill weapon or good for actually picking locks. Hey, immunity booster for this lockpick. Totally worth it. Hey, we got another person here. You know, let's not waste my knife. Let's give him the old womp. Calm down. The town is calling me here to Victor Kine. Hmm. Oh, I think that's the talk about the relationship between Simon and Isidore, probably. I want to see what's in this cache here. I've already been to this cache, but it was marked again yesterday. So I wonder if that means something changed with it or what. <laughs> nah, doesn't look like it. But hey, I'll leave a button there, even if it's not a new cache. And I saw another asshole over here. Not exactly the way of the theater, but whatever. I just love the womp. Womp. There he is. Spindle. Huge item, but it's actually good for trading with those people who have a lot of, like, clothes-related stuff. Alright, what's my duty for today? Is it to extract a bunch of organs? Is it organ day? Even if we all perish, the town must survive. It's unique. Can I do anything? Why did you come? I just want to be of help. You're a scientist. There's no work for you here. I could look after the sick. I'm not afraid of dirty work. But actually, I have quite a few skills aside from mathematics. Such as? I can sew, tie knots, tell stories, do card tricks, play cello, repair equipment. Though I doubt any of that would be useful here. Unfortunately, I can't walk around too much on account of my leg. Hmm. Still, you should go home now. There's nothing for you to do here. You aren't cub anymore, Burach. Time to grow up. Ah, there you are. Stay strong. I think I'm making progress. Substantial? Very substantial. I haven't been wasting time either. What do you mean? Never mind. Are you hiding something? Today's job is downright ugly. Perfect for the likes of you and I. Autopsies. A lot of them. How many is a lot? We need organs to study them. Infected, healthy, all kinds of them. Not blood, though. Orderlies can collect it without our help. I'll do most of the work, but there's no reason for you to slack off. Examining infected organs makes sense, but why would we need healthy ones? Did those six years of study go over your head completely? Infected and healthy are just words, but everything is interconnected in a body. A healthy organ might be showing first signs of infection. Conversely, it might already have developed antibodies. You're right. Everything is connected in a body. All three layers. The disease mutates. The clinical picture changes. They all have different symptoms. We're no longer sure which organs become damaged first. So we'll have to figure it out. But how? We don't have a clinical picture. We know nothing. Leave that to Dankovsky. Our job is to extract the organs and put them in the icebox. There, on the stage. Let Dankovsky be the one to rummage through them. 
You seem less like an adoring fan. That's nice to see. He works hard, but I've yet to see the results. If he's making the same progress I am, there's still hope. Extract six organs. Easy. Speaking of... Ooh, it has now been long enough that um, the thing I'm brewing back here should definitely be done. I should head there immediately after finishing up here. Oh, and let's see if they have any medicine for me. A rusty scalpel. You know what? I'm not even going to take that. Six organs. So I... Uh, it probably doesn't matter if they're a nice spread of organs. So maybe I should just do the easiest ones. Yeah, whatever. I'll do them all. Yeah, this lancet's so good that the chance to damage these organs are all low except for the brain, which is average. It's very nice. Yeah, not all the organs. Not all the organs are infected in an infected person, necessarily. Three organs down. I guess if I have any extra organs, I'll take them with me. I'll take the brain for myself. Yeah, I'll take those two for myself. Let me go put these in the box. Ooh, glad I moved away. Yeah, it looks like you can get away from that if you just move away pretty fast. Alright, that's it, right? Oh, one more organ? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. Huh. Uh. Shit, hold on. Um. These, those just aren't going to fit, right? Uh, no, there's, there's no way that's going to fit. Um, you got someone else I can cut? Yeah, good. I'm going to take a bunch of organs back with me since I'm going to go back home immediately after this. There we go. That cloud sounded like it came for me. Everybody around here loves me. Um, hmm. My sand fund, sand pest fund still isn't maxed out, so I should cure a couple more people. Like, starting with you. Bone? Mm, one more should do it, probably. God, it sounds like it's right there. Fuck off. Nerves. Yeah, so it's reached the next tier. If I get it to the absolute max, is there a difference between reaching the bar and being at the top? Maybe. Let's do another one. Is there another one? Uh, yes. This one back here. 
Almost didn't see you there, buddy. Bone. Yeah, now it's absolutely maxed. Yeah, they also mentioned that the amount that you get awarded in the fund is also dictated partially by how well your how good your reputation is across the whole city. And I'm respected in most places. Almost everywhere except except these couple places here and then this area here because I killed that person over over here. But majority of places I'm respected. So I should get a lot of money. All right, let me play organ Jenga. Right, I've got an infected brain, a healthy heart, and two healthy kidneys. Um, I want more infected organs. Yes, yes, God, shut up. Please. I never took your brain? Oh, well, at least your brain stacks. <laughs> Aren't there more dead bodies? Yeah, I haven't cut you. Let's try to go for the best stuff. Nice, that also stacks. Um, I don't want to hurt my Lancet too much. I'll do one more. That also stacks? Wait, no, didn't? Oh right, this is a healthy heart. Heading back to my home and gonna visit Han and cure their infection on the way. And uh, let's give this person a good old whomping. Womp. 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 Shit. You, you don't like that I whomped your friend? Calm down. Ooh, a thimble. It's actually really good. Pretty shitty loot over. Oh, otherwise. But Thimble's nice. Hey, buddy. Uh, you know what? I'm just not going to mess with that. Oh, hold on. They actually just went around in a circle. So, prime opportunity. Never mind. <laughs> I think there's another one here. Oh, actually, no. You're not an enemy. Who are you running from? We're running too. Oh. Wait for the person to leave so I can loot. Oh, good stuff. Red thread and the other thingy I definitely need. What do I dump to make room for it, though? There we go. I found room. All right, Han, let's get you fixed up. Oh, hey, I have the leash on me. Let's get the schmouter. I think the kids have gathered at the station here. Oh, just you two creepy ones. I'm trying to divine who it will be. A man or woman? If a man, there will be blood, but it'll be easier for you to prevail in the end. If a woman... Less of our blood, more of yours. That's what my flowers tell me. Who it will be? Who are you talking about, kid? We're expecting guests. Bad guests. Violent. So I'm asking my flowers if we'll survive. They're not sure. Oh. They must be talking about Aglaia. The Inquisitor. It doesn't take a flower to predict our chances of survival. This track is an umbilical cord, our only connection to the outside world. How old are you, kid? 
Six, if mother is not mistaken. But I'm not sure. I'm worse, I'm worse with numbers than words. Yeah, they're another one of those very old kids that haven't aged because they've been in the polyhedron. Yeah, you speak like you're 30. This umbilical cord needs to be cut quickly. Sand pest flows through it, and a special emissary will arrive soon. A state inquisitor. Heard of those? I thought they were disbanded two years ago. No. This emissary will signal our doom. As we sentence the outside world, so will the Inquisitor sentence us. But they're faster. Get it? The umbilical cord needs to be cut. Perhaps you can do it. You're a surgeon after all. You mean like blow it up? Sure, as an example. I'm not an expert. I'm only six after all. Just destroy the rails or we're all dead. State emissaries have no sense of humor. Maybe a scalpel will do. Just cut and be done with it. Can I actually do this? A contraption would serve better. I think I know just the man. I do? This is interesting. Oh, is it bad grief? I know a good obstetrician, all right. He'll cut whatever needs to be cut, including railroads. Interesting. Can I stop the Inquisitor from coming all together? If I could, I mean, that would make such a massive difference to how the rest of the story plays out. I can't even imagine what would happen then. Do you have dynamite? What for? They say an Inquisitor's coming. We should keep them from getting in, don't you think? I see, I see. Listen, artilleryman. You're a surgeon, not a bomber. Gotta be careful with those hands. Let's tackle this as a team. Hell yeah! Why not? Let's do it together, just like the good old days. Just like when we were blowing up things with dynamite as a kid. Go into the steppe after midnight. Follow the railroad tracks. The long ones that unfurl to the outside world. A real line, not your metaphors. You'll find me waiting. I am so intrigued. I am so intrigued. I understand all kinds of lines. I'll find you. Grief will wait for me at the railroad after midnight. We'll cut the unnecessary line together. Is it going to work? I, I can't imagine how the rest of the game will play out if that works. It's really just bewildering to me. I can totally afford that revolver, by the way. I don't want a revolver. I do want to sell this pocket watch, though. Damn, they'll give me 1700 for it. It's almost all their money. I'm glad... Grief agreed so readily to the plan. I was worried they would be like, what, are you just... Are you okay? <laughs> like, that's ridiculous. But no, they're just like, yeah, let's do it. Now that I have the toolbox, I can upgrade the Alembic. Boop. I want to see what we've brewed, but let me clear up some inventory space first. Actually, let's not. Serum. Different from my other medications. I need to test it on an infected person to see if I can cure the plague. The liquid is thick and smells of soil. I brewed it from hot underground blood and a tincture. Is this it? I think so. Let's get some organs brewing in here. Let's do an infected heart and, uh, I don't know, yas? Sure. Some infected brains and yachts. Let's see if I can fix my lancet. Excellent, although I think I'm completely out of grindstones now. That's bad. How am I doing on other stuff? 
boots could use a repair. I need more clothes too. I should stop at clothes stores to see if I can buy something. Um, I think I can probably do this a couple times. Ooh, actually, no, I can't. I only have one red thread. That's going to be required for the next tier, I'm sure of it. It looks like we have a visitor. My, 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 what have we here? A real cure to drive me out of the body. Seems so. You were just like your foolish father, following in his footsteps, doing what he did five years ago. Really? Did he also make a panacea? He did not let me into the town, boarded off the crude sprawl. It burned out from the inside to the last soul. With no food, I starved to death, and so the town returned to its unknowing slumber. Cruel. My solution is more humane. That was a long time ago. He then had time to think of what happened, to understand that one should not drive me away, neither from a town nor from a body. I am a heavenly gift, Burach. Will you also take five years to understand it? You hold poison in your hands. So I don't trust it at all. Obviously, it has a lot of self-interest. And I mean, it's a fucking plague. But I think it's talking about what our father ends up telling us about later, that it's a inoculation, it's a vaccine, the infection, that is. That he unleashed it on purpose. Nonetheless, you hold poison in your hands. Yes, it is to poison you. Priority number one, test it as fast as possible because I don't know what other things might need to be done today related to it, and I think Reuben will probably die by the morning, I would assume. So let's find an infected person. Um, Termitary's pretty close over here. That's infected. Let's go. Ah, and this is the person who just approached me to say that I should go visit Yulia because they have a warning for me. A warning about the Inquisitor. Here we go. Found somebody on the ground. The mysterious blood produced a vial of liquid. Now I need to test on someone infected. Done. The medicine has been produced, but there's very little of it. For now, it's more proof of a concept than a solution. Still, I think I'll soon find the right person to share this discovery with. Soon find the right person to share it with? What do you mean? What do you mean soon? I don't really understand what that means exactly. Am I supposed to go uh, anywhere? Nothing's marked on the map. Hmm. I love this super awesome music that sounds so victorious and uplifting that plays when you do something really big related to the panacea. Feels good. Hmm, it seems like I can attack the people with soot on their faces in the infected zones. They're like the fire bombers, even though they don't attack me directly. I saw the guards fighting them, and I gained respect when I killed them, so... Hey, you. Let go. Boop. Okay, now that didn't seem to affect my reputation, but it didn't hurt it either. And they have bandages on them, which it may, maybe could use. Ah, I'm barely hurt. Let's speak with Yulia. Even if we all perish, the town must survive. It's unique. See this girl, Bura? She says the Inquisition will arrive tomorrow. What? Inquisition? So we didn't have enough hell here already. Even if evacuation were an option, I wouldn't recommend it. You wouldn't leave anyway. Do you smoke, Bura? From time to time. The Inquisition will target the doctors for certain. 
I know their methods. I mean, sure, they always improvise. Can't be predicted, really. But common sense suggests that you, the medics, will become their pawns. How do you know? I worked for the Inquisition a bit, right before I came here. I calculated certain predictive models. The details are of no importance. Right. Everyone works for the government, always. Except for Father and I. Burrah, this is serious. Do you even understand what kind of institution the Inquisition is? I've heard of them. An organization of geniuses. I believe the Inquisitorial Corps is 19 strong. Or was it 18? No, 19, in unless Orf resigned. They're tasked with solving the unsolvable. Like this outbreak of ours, I get it. No laws, no ethics bind the Inquisitors. They're human missiles caring only of the mission. Nothing stands between them and the mission. What does this mean for me? They'll take you, Daniel, and Clara, and they'll trade you, turn you into tokens. I'm not sure you can really avoid it. Unless you flee. But there's no way out. I suppose you're doomed. You didn't mention Reuben. Why? He's a doctor too, more than Clara. They will, of course, summon Reuben and me and the ruling houses. But you will be their pawn. The Inquisitors can identify extraordinary people from miles away like bloodhounds. It wouldn't be wrong to say that I'm no less intelligent than Daniil, and Stanislav is as good a surgeon as you. Still, we'll remain in the background. You will become the pawn. Trust me, I've seen them work. You flatter me. The powers that be have sent a special commissar our way, one that people refer to as an inquisitor. A kid made a gift for his father. Two weeks of careful work. He kept thinking how happy father would be when he opened it. He ran into the room, stumbled, but didn't drop the box. He held it out to father. Then father pulled a razor from behind his back and cut the kid's face. Yeah, you just tell me increasingly disturbing things. Why are you telling me this? Enough. That's the Inquisition. All the things they just told us. What do you want? Just want to look them in the eye. Uh, never approach them. They'll make you the villain. Well, I think that is a pretty good place to end the episode for now. I have... Basically nothing on the map except to go speak with Simon. So... Yeah, I guess uh, next episode I'm gonna wander on over to Simon's and kill any bad people I find to steal their loot, sell stuff, try to find clothes stores that might have some more clothes for me to wear. <laughs>